Hello, I'm Dr. Davis with I Associates of Overland Park. Today we'd like to talk a little bit about um, posterior vitreous detachments and also uh, posterior vitreous floaters. Uh, most people just call these floaters. Um, posterior vitreous floaters are actually small debris uh, that are trapped inside the fluid that fills the inside of the eye. Most of us see these as small specks floating in our vision. Sometimes they look like a small hair or a small cell or some sort of filament, something that's floating within the um, fluid of the eye. It actually casts a shadow at the back of the eye, and we see these as these small floaters in the eye. Uh, typically, these are most noticeable when we are um, in a situation where there is light that's at the same level as our eye. Instead of having overhead light, we have something like um, sunlight that's low in the sky or a computer monitor sitting directly in front of us. Um, if we look up into a bright blue sky, sometimes these things are more obvious. Um, another situation would be a bright white wall, something where there's not much of a background, there's no real, um, nothing to really uh, hide these small floaters. Um, so these floaters are really something that are a normal occurrence in the eye. They're something that um, just typically happen with age. The fluid of the eye starts out as a very clear gel. Um, it has a consistency much like jello gelatin, uh, but has a clear appearance to it. It's transparent. Over time, we get a breakdown of that fluid, and we start to see these little particles floating within the fluid. Now, these are all normal aging um, scenarios. These are things that happen to each and every one of us. But in some situations, we see a little bit more of an effect occur. And, and what happens is this fluid, instead of just producing these small little uh, pieces of debris, this fluid starts to shrink or contract a little bit. And as it does so, we may see that fluid actually pull away from the back of the eye. So you've got a fluid, a gel that's filling the inside of the eye. That fluid shrinks a little bit. And because the eye is basically a vacuum, there's nowhere else for that gel to go, it has to pull away from the back of the eye. That gel actually has a pressure against the back of the eye or the retina that kind of holds things in place. And when it collapses or pulls forward, that can sometimes cause some, some real change in the vision. First of all, it can cause some tugging or traction on the retina that ends up causing um, symptoms of bright flashes, small little uh, sparks of vision or little flashes of vision in our peripheral um, areas of our vision. Uh, we may also see, instead of just one little particle or floater in our vision, we may see kind of an abundance of floaters, a large area of debris suddenly occur in our vision. This combination of these small flashes of light or large areas of debris or floaters, those are signs that there may be some risk. There may be a small tear or hole in the retina itself. But again, these are typically associated with this fluid pulling away from the back of the eye. This is something that commonly happens for people when they reach their 50s or 60s and sometimes a little bit later in life. Um, it happens to each and every one of us, but it may happen at different times. So if we have the symptoms or we see signs of just a small floater or filament, something floating in our vision occasionally, that's not anything to really be greatly concerned about. But if you see an abundance of floaters show up suddenly, or you're seeing bright flashes in your peripheral vision, or a combination of, of those two, those are things that we really need to have addressed. We need to uh, get an appointment really within about a 24 hour period of time. We want to get that checked out in a short period of time just to ensure that this is not something that's caused some damage to the actual retina. If there's damage to the retina, we need to address that and possibly re repair that in a very short period of time. If it's just a vitreous detachment or a pulling away of that fluid, then it's something that we will just monitor closely over the next few weeks to ensure that there's no damage to the retina. Again, I'm Dr. John Davis with I Associates of Overland Park. Thank you.